Uh, my name is Dave Mason. I'm the Survey Machine Control Manager for Mosier Construction Incorporated. We're located in Fremont, Ohio. A rather profitable company. I think we do between 110 and 120 million dollars worth of work a year. Um, we do a lot of public work stuff, uh, a lot of private work. Uh, we range anywhere from, as you can see out here, we're, we're prepping some ground for a solar farm for Arch Solar. Um, we do um, warehouses, uh, schools, uh, bridge work, uh, water treatment, wastewater treatment facilities. Five to six years ago, we bought our first IMC machine, which was a 360i excavator. Um, we bought it primarily to install underground utility piping, storm lines, sanitary lines, water lines. Um, uh, right out the gate, we were extremely happy with it. Uh, the excavations that we were doing were rather deep. And by using the IMC machines that can hold position and grade on their own, essentially there's no need to send somebody down into a 16 to 20 foot deep hole. Um, so that was kind of a game changer for us. I think our next piece of equipment was the D61i dozer. Uh, we used on the same project for heavy earth moving. We were uh, relocating a sludge lagoon on that facility. Um, and then there we've just grown with the equipment. I think right now we have uh, two I excavators, a 360 and a 210 uh, permanently in our fleet. And then we have one D61, two D51s and two D39s. Um, what I really like about the equipment is it's very versatile. Um, it's very powerful. Uh, you can use those equipment, those pieces of equipment on m multiple different uh, parts of the project from rough grading, hogging out borrow sites, all the way to fine grading roads. And um, just real happy with the performance of them and the accuracy of them. We started using our 210 to dig building footers on uh, uh, schools. So typically on a school, uh, myself or one of our other surveyors would have to go out and set a slew of offset stakes and then from those stakes our carpenters would have to go out pull off the stakes paint out lines on the ground and then we would have to have our operator dig to those lines to dig the depths for the footers and grade beams and whatnot and along with him you would also have to have someone checking grade for the bottom of those well now we've allevi alleviated all four of those steps essentially you've just alleviated four people from a process that would normally take five to six people. So without having exact numbers to quantify that, I think just the personnel and what you spend in labor uh, speaks for itself. That's the same with our uh, dozers and our excavators on this particular project we're working on. Now we've got multiple machines out here that they just do it all on their own. Um, you can see that there's hardly any stakes out here at all. So the proactive dozing control is fantastic for a job this size. Well, so I'll, go, I'll give you an example on the, a quantity for digging building footers. We used it on a specific job and when our estimators in the office, they, they anticipated that we would be able to dig 200 lineal feet a day of footer. Dig and pour. 200 feet a day, that's how they bid the project. Uh, when the project was all said and done, we were averaging 400 feet a day. So we doubled our production with half the manpower. Once we started getting these machines, we did start doing some internal tracking. Um, I mean, I, I think that's how most people uh, quantify projects, is how many lineal feet can we get in a day? How many cubic yards can we excavate in a day? And when our parameters in our estimating equipment are set at value X, say 100, and we've shown over the last four or five jobs at that specific task, we're able to perform at 150, then our operating costs can change for those and the way that we bid jobs drastically changes. It makes us more competitive. You know, if we're a contractor that's running um, these IMC machines and GPS machine control stuff and we're able to get one and a half times the production as a company that isn't doing it, we, we've got an edge at the, at, at the bidding table. I, I mean, absolutely, it's more profitable. Like I, like I alluded to earlier, just so just being able to alleviate some of the manpower and let the machines take control of all that and the operator take control of that, um, you know, you can, you can cut your labor costs by 25%, say, on any, on any given project. The ease of learning how to use it was kind of intimidating at first. I had zero experience with it. Hopped in within a day, it was like second nature. Just 
very, very user friendly. I've actually had conversations with some of the people I used to work with about the efficiency that these machines offer compared to what we used to do. And in my experience, we're doing about two to three times the production that I was accustomed to getting with, with you know, no second guessing. It's all, you know what finished grade is the minute you're putting it down. You don't have to say, okay, we'll work for a couple hours and we'll go back and we'll check and it's done. There's no wasted time at all. I work with the smart construction guys um, weekly, monthly, and they're fantastic. Uh, that's one of the things that I preach to our company about these Komatsu is, is the tech support that I get from the guys out of Columbus, Mike Fenster, um, Nate, Robert, they're fantastic. I think their experience in the past working with some Topcon based equipment is what we run primarily. Um, Mike Fenster, uh, he's extremely knowledgeable on that end too, and, and their knowledge extends past just the equipment that they're selling and servicing. Um, they, they get the construction industry, they understand processes, uh, they understand how certain things are supposed to work, and that helps them tailor make these machines to operate the most efficiently for us or whatever, whatever other company is using them in, the, in, in whatever process, in whatever manner. Well, I think uh, even where we're at, as advanced as this technology is, I don't even think we've scratched the surface of where it's gonna go. And um, uh, one of the things that those guys try to do is they try to stay on the cutting edge of the new technology that's coming out. Half of my operators have those guys' phone numbers and they'll call them and ask them questions when I'm not available and they're, they're right on the spot to answer those things. And they, they really keep our production going. I would say one of the biggest benefits about working with, their, with, with that group is there's very limited downtime when you have those guys on your side.